A few days ago, I upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10. It's free for a year to Microsoft customers who already have Windows 7 and 8. After that, you'll have to pay. However, after installation, I ran into a glitch. This is the error that I was getting. It's a runtime error that has to do with my display. After a little research, I figured it out. Yay! This is what I did. First, you want to go to your home button. Open it up and go to settings. Once in settings, go to system display notifications, apps, and power. Scroll down to power and sleep. In related settings, go down to additional power settings. Now opens up your power option screen. I'm on balanced, so I'm going to change my plan settings there. If I was on power saver, I'd do it there. Once you're in your edit plan settings, go to change advanced power settings. When your power options box opens up, go down to ATI graphics power settings. Since this is a display and battery issue, this is where you're going to make your changes. Then click open your ATI power play settings. As you can see, I've already solved the problem, so my settings are correct. But I'm going to switch them back so I can show you something. Switch your on battery back to maximize battery life. And switch plugged in back to maximize battery life. These are the options you would choose if you wanted to conserve your battery. Hit apply and then OK. And as you can see, I get that runtime error. I'm going to go ahead and go back into my advanced power settings. Scroll down to ATI graphics power settings to my power play settings in ATI. And I'm going to change my settings back to maximize performance so that I no longer get that error. I'm going to hit apply and then OK. And as you can see, nothing comes up. So exit out of this screen and exit out of that screen. And now you've solved your runtime error. Mm -hmm. And if anybody was wondering, that is Philip Michael Thomas, a.k.a. Ricardo Tubbs of Miami Vice. <laughs>